I'm uh, working on the on the spectroscopic data of um, uh, different molecules, which we find important for the uh, char characterizations of uh, atmospheres of exoplanets. It's, uh, it's, it might sound long and complicated, but the the, the, uh, the simple answer is to that that we we now have a, a lot of um, new objects to look at. So we're now able to look at the systems beyond our extra, uh, 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 our solar system, which is really exciting because now the number of objects just exploded, and the, because of the uh, the success of the Kepler mission. Now we have uh, around 4,000 objects which are uh, known to be, uh, confirmed to be exoplanets, planets, and a few hundreds which are already characterized. And it's, um, it's very interesting because now we, we have a great variety of those which are vary from very small sizes, some of them all the size of the Earth, which are the most exciting. Most of them come in the big sizes and very hot which may be not exciting in terms of uh, looking at their possibility of life, but still very interesting to, to study the variability and the, the how, they, how they, they were created, whether they, we can understand their structure. And that's uh, we look at those, uh, we want to study the, these atmospheres. And, um, and that's, uh, that's the, the general goal. But uh, our, our part of it, so our group, the group Examol, is that to understand uh, the uh, the behavior of those molecules which populate this, this this atmosphere? And we are we are theoreticians. So I'm theoretician, and I'm I'm creating the um, the I'm reconstructing this these properties of these molecules in order to be able to compare these properties to those that we can observe. And the um, the the ancient thing or the, the, what we can use that we know that the, there's the still the same molecules. And that's the great part of it. So even though it's a different part of universe, maybe, maybe not too far from us, but maybe it's the same galaxy. But still, it's very far from us. There's still the same molecules. It's, it's water, it's methane, it's CO2, CO. Just the, in most cases, they're very hot, which is different from, from out in the atmosphere. And if we understand their properties sitting here, and they look at them, which are very far away, and compare the, the, what, what we see to what we know, we can learn a lot. We can, I mean, very simple thing. We can say that is there water there. We would like to, to tell that there is oxygen there, which is difficult. Uh, the oxygen is really tricky molecule to, 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 to analyze. But at least we can say that there is CO2, CO, methane. And we can also say how much of this stuff relative to each other, what the composition, what the temperature. And maybe some, uh, if we put more physics into the, the, the atmospheric modeling, then you can even uh, uh, understand or try to model the, um, the, um, the winds and the weather and the, the, um, how the, the seasons be, behave. So I don't know, it, it's a very long answer to, to, to your question what, what my science is.